Alright, it's that time of the year. Everyone's coming out with their top ten lists for movies this year, and I figured why not do mine. But first, I'm going to start off with some honorable mentions. Here are two movies that were on my list that I had to bump because, because of two movies that came out during the Christmas season that I wanted to add to the list. But they, they still deserve to be mentioned. First up, Warrior. No one saw this movie, which is a shame. It had a terrific albeit cliche story. They pretty much gave the climax away in the trailer, but you still want to see how they get to that point. The performances were great, the fights were brutal, and it might just get a tear out of you. Next up, Source Code. Source Code was the first great movie of 2011, and I made sure to never forget it. Jake Gyllenhaal wakes up on a train not knowing who he is, and he has eight minutes until it explodes and he needs to find out who blew it up. And they make a fantastic movie repeating those same eight minutes over and over again in different ways. Source code, you gave me hope for the year. But now to the top ten. Here's the, here are the big ones. Here are the ones you need to see. Midnight in Paris. Us Owen Wilson fans needed this movie because it's, it's definitely been a while since we've gotten something memorable from him. This was my first Woody Allen movie, and it, I thought it was fantastic. I love the Paris setting. Like, Owen Wilson as the lead was just so energetic, and I loved how they handled the time travel and just had fun with the literary minds from the 1920s. And I loved the message about not living in the past. Not everyone always believes from an artistic standpoint that everyone from the past is so much better than the people now. Great, great fun comedy. Number nine, We Bought a Zoo. Yeah, I'm as surprised as you are. I'm not even sure why I saw this movie. I was kind of just like, sure, it wouldn't kill me to see it, I guess, but this was a pleasant surprise. I, I don't even think I gave this movie enough credit in my review. Dad Buys a Zoo sounds simple, but this movie is so much more. It's still in theaters. The second you're done watching this video, I implore you to see it. You will love it. X-Men First Class. Well, I wasn't doing video reviews back when this came out, so of course there are going to be a few surprises as we keep going up. But for X-Men First Class, best X-Men ever, great acting, great skip, great direction, great score, especially. And just Matthew Vaughn, you did a great job giving this, us this whole thing. And if you haven't seen this movie, what is wrong with you? Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. The series is over, and this was a great send-off. It was emotional. I was on the edge of my seat for most of it. The action, the acting, the direction were top-notch. David Yates didn't get off to the best start of Order of the Phoenix and Half-Blood Prince, but he definitely came into his own with this one. Harry, Ron, Hermione, I will miss you guys. But let's not forget about the real star of this movie, Neville Longbottom. 50-50. Cantor comedy. Touchy subject. But boy, did it work. Great cast. Joseph Gordon-Levitt gave his best performance yet. This movie managed to be very funny at times and very dramatic. And I'll admit it, it did get a few tears out of me. Carnage. My comedy of the year. You take Kate Winslet, Jodie Foster, John C. Riley, and Christoph Waltz, and you throw them to one room with each other for 80 minutes. And what you get at first is an extremely comfortable situation that turns into a hilarious romp. Super 8. Yeah, I was one of the people that really loved this movie. I acknowledge the flaws. Yes, the train crash was improbable, but I don't care. It was awesome. I just had so much fun with this movie. I kind of wish this was my childhood minus the dead mom. Because like, when I just look back, I'm just like, what was I doing all those years? But just the feeling that this movie gave me at the end is just something I kept with me. Thank you, J.J. Abrams for this, and I laugh at all of you who didn't stay during the credits. I mean, the font was right to, on the right side and the entire left side was blank. Of course they're going to show you something. You should have stayed. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Fincher did it again. He took a story that's been told twice and made it his own. Great acting, wonderful score, fantastic camera work. Cannot wait until he comes out with the other two. Hopefully he does. Fincher, you're just Thank you.
drive as much as the Ryan Gosling fangirls and fanboys annoy me, you gotta give the guy credit. He made this movie. The director was there in the background trying to one-up him the whole time of the score. People were telling me this movie was like really, really slow. When I went in, I was expecting for like 40 minutes of just like no dialogue. That's what I got was much faster pace, and I think I kind of enjoyed it even more because I kind of went in expecting something much different. Yes, my number one is Hugo. This is my pick to win the Oscar this year. Watch will probably be the artist, but my, my official pick is Hugo. Marta Scorsese, seemingly out of his element entirely, gave us one of his best films ever. A complete love letter to mo movies of old and a surprisingly great 3D experience to boot. After seeing the trailer, I was kind of like, really? But he completely blew me away with this one. And I highly, I highly recommend it. Alright, that is the list. I know I've only been at this since September, but I will say, I will still say 2011 was a good year for doing this. My videos will get better. I should have a better camera and an actual microphone in several weeks. I hope to have many more subscribers by the time I make this video for 2012, and I'll keep you posted on the web series that I'm working on. Later. Oh, and the uh, next time I make a video, I should probably be back in my dorm room where this all started, because I, I, I still feel a little weird doing this at home with my crappy internet that makes uploading videos a tremendous, tremendous pain.